There have been countless videos made all over the internet, all over YouTube, countless lectures given by people with varying degrees of music knowledge and diversity in their lives. There have been lectures and videos created by musicians who've studied and trained and professionally performed for 40, 50 years. And they've talked about all of the different musical topics ranging from the classical periods all many years ago to the modern music of today and how it was shaped by the composers of the past and all of the different things in between. They've talked about music theory, they've talked about everything that can possibly be related to music. But I'm not here to talk about those things. See, all those people are professionals, they are knowledgeable. I'm simply the average music enjoyer. I'm a cellist, I love listening to music, and I'm here to present you with a short tidbit of information that I think is interesting regarding the modern music of today. So, I'd like to, instead of focusing on a whole time period or even an entire orchestra or an entire band or performer, I'd like to focus on three songs, four songs, specifically their names, by the band AJR. They're pretty modern, pretty current, they are uh, very technical and sh share a lot of characteristics that have been added recently to the field of music. Those four songs are in the albums Living Room, The Click, Neo Theater, and OK Orchestra. All albums by AJR, all released in the past 10 years. Each one of these albums has what's called an overture at the beginning. I found this very interesting. I haven't heard an overture for a popular modern artist's album ever. I've only ever heard it in classical music. It's something that should honestly come back. AJR has made use of it and with their very modern and new style, they have a lot of technology on their side. They can combine every song of their album into a single four, five minute long piece that's truly astonishing. Every other artist of today's society has the ability to make use of this tool. They all have the technology, they all have the know-how, and they all have the skill, yet they don't. Now that's a good question. Why have overtures been phased out over the years? And why are there only a few random modern artists that still use them? Now, I couldn't tell you that, and I can't tell you much more, because simply, I'm the average music enjoyer. But I thought it was really interesting that AJR could use uh, such an outdated technique to such perfection. And it deserved to be highlighted.